Welcome back guys, Joe here. Hope everyone's doing well. So today we're doing the Walmart Deer Attractive Challenge. So from lightest to heaviest, we have the Wild Game Innovation. This is the Persimmons Crush. It's a five pound bag and it was $9.98 with 17% crude protein. Here's the Buck Bourbon. This is an eight pound bag. This was $9.98 also. It has a few different ingredients in that. This uh, right here on the back. You guys would like to pause that to see what it has. We also have a 20 pound bag of the Bone Collectors by, this is Big and J. This right here was $14.82. This has a 12% crude protein ratio in it. And then we have our just regular old deer corn apple flavored. This right here, this bag was normally $8.98 on sale for $6.46. All right, guys, so we're parked in where we're going to go ahead and put our uh, attract in here. We have the game camera right there. I have my box blind right there. And I also have my pop up a Mary Step blind right there. So I currently have the Coleman parked where I'm going to go ahead and place the bags out. It's right now, it's September 9th, 2024, and it's 1158. I have you guys right next to my spy point cell camera. I'm going to go ahead and put each bag on the floor before I cut them open with their labels up so we can go ahead and compare them in a few days and we'll be able to remember which bag is which or which pile is which. And really just go from there. We're going to let the attractant do its thing. I'm guaranteeing within the next hour of when I leave, I'll have two doe and a fawn because they're always, always in here. Now we already started our hunting season. We're in archery season down here in central North Carolina. And uh, those three are not allowed. She's not allowed to be taken. There's another doe that always has twins every single year. She's another one that I ask the guys, hey, look, guys, if you see both of these doe, they're always here and they're definitely not shooters. So I'm sure with them going into estrus, they'll bring in the big, the big bucks like they always do. So those two are not allowed, but I guarantee at least one of them will be here within an hour. So let's get these bags down. First one, guys, right here is the Parsimmons Crush. The Buck Bourbon. We have the Big and J. Then we just have the Walmart brand uh, Deer Corn. I'm gonna be heading up to New York in a few days. This is gonna be sitting out here, unpressured. There should be no one else down here. My mom and the goats are down there. The goats probably will not wander this far back without my mom. If she doesn't come back here, they're not gonna come back here. Uh, we're gonna let this game camera sit and watch it, let this marinate, and we should be back Saturday or Sunday coming up. I'll see you guys then.
So we're back guys, it's a few days later. We got back from Long Island this morning at four o'clock in the morning, went home, went to bed, and now we're back here. Um, the, this camera has gone off. It probably had to have at least a thousand pictures. So I was just taking the best pictures, uh, just screenshotting them as they would just come across all day long, all day long these deer were down here. So uh, surprisingly, I thought it was gonna be a different result than what it was, but I'm gonna take you guys in and show you what I'm talking about. This is what I see. The parsimon was here. The Buck Bourbon was here, the Big and J was there, and the Walmart corn, let's try that one again. The Walmart corn was right there. So the Walmart corn was decimated within the first 24 hours. It was in this area, it was that apple corn. Very surprised with that. I really liked the results in that Walmart corn. 40 pound bag, $6, it brought them in immediately. This is the Big and J. Again, they did a pretty good job. It was uh, 20 pounds and it's still a little bit of remnants here. Here's your buck bourbon and your parsimons mix here. What did I gather out of this research that I did here over the last few days? For our area and the price, I think the apple corn was the for sure winner. Absolutely hands down bar none. That apple corn, like I said, was gone in within 24 hours. They were hitting it all times of the day. It was one bag, 40 pounds for $6, I put it there. If I put out two or three pounds on top of that, uh, you know, three days before rifle season, they're gonna be down here without a problem. The Big and J, I don't think they were in love with it. They went to it, but they definitely, they didn't hit the other three until that apple corn was gone. The parsimons mix, they really, from the camera footage, I think the raccoons and the other little animals that would come through, especially like the crows and stuff, they were hitting that parsimons dust more than anything. That buck bourbon, I think the little bit of corn inside of there brought them in, but not enough to hold them here for a long time. And again, those last two, the parsimon and that buck bourbon, they were $9 for about five pounds. Personally, I would rather go get two bags of that apple corn if you're allowed to put down corn or any of these as an attractant and or bait for your, for your state. You gotta Google that one yourself, I don't know. That being said, I'm probably gonna go to Walmart and pick up about 10 of those bags. You can't go wrong, 60 bucks, 40 pounds a bag. I mean, I, we're a lot of bait down North Carolina. I'm probably gonna end up grabbing about 10 bags of those uh, today actually when I get done with this. Let me know in the comments what you guys think did the best and or what you use in your area because in North Carolina we can put down whatever so please let me know. Again guys if you don't mind my name is Joe. If you like this sort of thing if you can please hit that like button. If you're not subscribed please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you back. We're down here in North Carolina and I'll see you guys on the next one.